Well, once again, uh, I will thanks to the organizing committee for inviting me. Um, thanks uh, very much to uh, Sharp uh, for this uh, uh, real uh, a deep uh, um, discussion about brain tumor in pediatric oncology. So, uh, um, uh, in previous speaker from this session, uh, were everybody coherent to the, the most important issue for pediatric oncology, uh, according to the brain tumor, is how integrate multimodality treatment, how improve survival, uh, uh, progressive free survival. Our most important issue also is with less toxicity, toxicity so sorry, and the other qu uh, question or the other challenge is how uh, optimize every day all of treatment uh, with this uh, uh, brainstorming to the new target to do a new uh, a molecule uh, for this uh, setting of patient. In this line, my uh, uh, speak, uh, uh, exposition uh, is regarding to the new molecule, nimotuzumab, specifically to the uh, brain tumor in high gray glioma. As background, this uh, uh, review, important review by uh, maternal TG, uh, published in journal Neuro-Oncology several years ago, but uh, in this uh, uh, paper, uh, this uh, author expressed how is different molecular behavior marker in pediatric high grade glioma. Uh, the, the message here is similarity histology but distinctive molecular behavior. Uh, how extrapolate genetic data and treatment have not provide comparable result. And the other uh, uh, message, important message, is understand individuality by type of tumor can offer better therapeutic option. In this line, all, also, you can see how this, sorry, oh, sorry. Yet. Yeah, for a sector, is a lesser degree uh, uh, amplification is observed in children comparing with adult high-grade glioma, uh, but this is uh, very associated with uh, uh, bad prognosis, and also a uh, different uh, marker associated with this uh, EGF receptor, for example, the mutate for the uh, version V3 EGF receptor. Uh, this deletion mutation has been conserved in pediatric hyperglioma, but not in activating uh, setting. And other marker uh, also uh, is important, but it, it's a, the frequency is more uh, uh, lower than uh, adult patient. In this line, this uh, mo uh, new uh, target uh, Therapy named Nimotuzumab is a monoclonal antibody, a humanized IDG1 to block to the EGF receptor. And then, of course, uh, uh, according to mechanism of action, we in involve to the uh, induce apoptosis, antiproliferated tumor, antiangiogenic, antimetastatic. And uh, uh, recently, we find how this uh, monoclonal antibody, in combination with radiotherapy, was abrogate the population to the cancer cells CD 133 uh, positive. So this is a summarized almost 20 years for a many, many heart development to the different clinical trial. Of course, we starting in 1998 in adult patients uh, who has diagnosis is high grade, uh, grade glioma. And then we moved to the pediatric oncology. In resting uh, milestone, I will express in this uh, presentation. Here, different 
uh, uh, clinical trials. So this is the first clinical trial in adult patients, but this is important because this is the first uh, described the permeable to blood brain buried to select a tumor accumulation for this uh, monoclonal antibody. On the other hand, we uh, observe high clinical response according to response rate and control disease rate. So this is the first clinical trial. This clinical trial was conducted in Germany uh, in the setting of the progressive pediatric malignant glioma. This monoclonal antibody was administered as monotherapy according to the pharmacokinetic kinetic, uh, um, evaluation. The doses here was uh, uh, 150 milligram per square uh, administered every uh, every week during six weeks, and then the patient receives maintenance dose as the same dose uh, every other weeks. The most important uh, outcome of this uh, uh, clinical trial, uh, published uh, also in expert opinion biology therapy in 2012, was impressive control disease rate uh, reached uh, 32 percent with a stable disease and partial response uh, in 4 percent, and uh, specifically in the IPG patient, this uh, stable disease was reached in for, for, uh, 45 percent. And on the other hand, we uh, uh, observe uh, how overall survival depends on the response. But this response is not only for imaginological response, but also in a, a, a clinical response uh, in terms to, to the improved uh, quality of life. This is another clinical trial. In this case, was conducted for, by a poetic group. Uh, this clinical trial was uh, 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 managed to the Ute Barters and Eric Buffet. Uh, this is a phase two. And the patient receives uh, the same uh, doses similar to the schedule uh, uh, described in, in the previous uh, clinical trial. He participated 44 patients. It's the same setting in progressive diffuse intrinsic pontine glioma in recurrence or progresses. Uh, you can see here how progressive free survival was uh, almost two months, and according to the overall survival from inclusion uh, patient, inclusion time patient in this clinical trial was uh, uh, very low, almost three months. Uh, probably the difference to the, uh, the prior uh, treatment in this clinical trial was uh, the first, the patient uh, stopped the treatment when, when, there was, uh, where, when was identified the progressive disease at imaginological uh, uh, MRI, no for the uh, behavior to the uh, clinical response, uh, specifically for uh, cognitive or uh, mm, clinical behavior, no? Uh, the other uh, uh, finding in this uh, trial was how two patients with long-lasting survival, uh, you can see seven uh, months and at, at least uh, two years. Uh, this uh, um, phenomenon uh, made me think uh, how need target strategy based on molecular characterization for to select a population more benefit. In fact, yes. The third uh, clinical trial, this is a phase three clinical trial, open level, no randomized. This will conduce in, in several countries in Europe. Uh, here we move to the uh, um, newly diagnosed uh, patient. Uh, nimotuzumab was received uh, in combination with radiotherapy as first line. The median progressive free survival here was almost six months, and uh, uh, overall survival was 19.4. It's, it's a similar. And the, once again, we observe how a, men, a little patient who uh, presented with a long-lasting survival. 
And the last thing, this is, this is a clinical trial conducted in the Instituto Nazionale de Tumori in Milan, Italy, by Dr. Esa Maura Massimino. This is impressive result. Uh, in this case, the Dr. Esa Maura Massimino uh, evaluates the multimodality uh, treatment when uh, nimotuzumab plus radiotherapy plus vinorevine according to the previous uh, uh, study uh, when he, she and her, her group identified the capacity for the uh, chemosensitive and radiosensitive to the nimotuzumab. In here, the outcome was, the, uh, according to uh, overall survival, was 50 months for this uh, uh, diffusing pontine glioma shieldhood in comparison to the uh, series for the previous clinical trial phase three conducted in Germany. So this uh, clinical benefit too different to the five, uh, plus five months. So this is the uh, other clinical trial, in this case, post-marketing trial conducted in Cuba. We explain uh, some detail in, in my previous uh, conference uh, to the morning. Uh, here uh, we have uh, uh, some identified uh, EGFR expression in some uh, viral spacing tumor. Here we uh, um, was uh, again uh, the similar result to the McDonald TG because the EGFR expression was very, very uh, uh, infrequent in this uh, series of cases. So many paper uh, was uh, demonstrated how this monoclonal antibody was uh, effective in this population. In this case, uh, this is the first clinical experience with all patients uh, has in recurrent disease in different uh, kind of tumor. The most important conclusion here was how nimotuzuma was well, well tolerated even with prolonged exposure. This is control rate and one year survival rate was 64% and median survival in general was uh, 19 months. Recovery of neurological function and improvement in general status were notable in patients who attained a control disease. This is another paper uh, where the doctor uh, expressed how uh, uh, was uh, her experience about a five year follow to this, in this case, uh, 23 uh, patients was uh, uh, evaluated in combination nimotuzumab with a, a different uh, um, therapy, uh, mainly with chemotherapy. Is in, uh, in this series, the, the patient was diagnosed with uh, anaplastic astrocytoma, glioblastoma. Also, uh, the majority of patients receive in combination with uh, chemotherapy, and the median survival time for all this was 32 months, and two year survival rate was 54%. So, according to the safety profile, is a, a, a key point important for this new molecule because this uh, new drug was very, very, very well Excuse tolerated. Me. Only skin rash mucositis vomiting is the most frequent. And the lastly, in my uh, summary, uh, opportunity, we, we think of how this new drug is a very promised target therapy in high-grade glioma and could be effective in other pediatric brain tumors. Combination with the standard treatment is, is possible because it's improved clinical benefit. This uh, good safety profile, he uh, explained uh, about this. And efficacy was comparably in pre- and post-register study. Future study must identify biomarker predictor to select population more benefit to nimotuma. Thank you very much. Thank you so much.